All right, Jonathan Croy, if you have not called your assistant race director, please call him. Tony Monica, please come to timing and scoring. Easy 100, you're on the grid on rain tires. Tag heavy KF2, mount them up. Rain racing is about to commence. We need tag heavy KF2 to pre-grid, please. Okay, Easy Cart 100, this is your three minute warning. Easy Cart 100, you have three minutes to take the grid. Tag heavy, KF2, Easy Cart is, if they're not ready, you're next. Tag heavy, e KF2, if Easy Cart's not on the grid, you're next. Okay, Easy 100, you have one minute. Easy 100, you have one minute. Tag Heavy, KF2, you're up next. Bring them up. Yeah, well, the Easy Cart 100, you're on the grid in rain tires. Again, Easy Cart 100, you need to on the grid. It'd be Tag Heavy KF2, we need you pre grid. Tag Heavy KF2, pre grid. So we're about ready to get back to racing. Easy card 100. Callan Warren on the pole position. Cody Snap outside row one. Mason Carroll in the 23. Tim Venable in the 26. 
Easy Cart 100 will need your next group. Tag Heavy KF2, Tag Heavy KF2, we need you to the grid. So green flag got a drop. Cowan Warren setting fast time on dry tires early this morning, 34-5-6-6. Right on rain tires, he'll set off and he'll be early leader. Mason Carroll not going to make the start, so that'll be Cowan Warren in the 11th, Snap in the 8th, Venable in the 26th. They'll cycle around, they'll pick up the green flag as they come across the line. And tag heavy KF2, tag heavy KF2. We need you to the grid. It'll be in rain tires again, that is. Tag heavy KF2. We need you to the grid. So Kyle and Warren turning at 40.435 here in lap number two. Venable about a 1.5 second behind your leader. Cody Snap in the number eight. That'll be your third place cart. It's going to be Tag Heavy KF2, Tag Heavy KF2, Yamaha Sportsman, Yamaha Sportsman needs it to the grid. Still have about 10 minutes for the voting for your 2011 board members. That is over by the tech area. Again, if you have not voted, you still have about 10 minutes for the 2011 board member. Again, as we have the ballots there. So halfway coming up this time by Kyle and Warren. Be six laps in, and again, six laps to go. Cody Snap going to retire the eight.
Need any dinero? We need you to please come to the bleachers area by scales. Again, you are our winner this afternoon. Cartpartsdepot.com. Again, we want to get you that uh, suit. Again, racing suit. So, any dinero, you're our winner. Colin Warren continued to pick up that speed, just turned to 40.093. 3.7 seconds ahead of Tim Venable. Eddie Gennaro will need you to come to the scales area. Again, as you picked up the winning racing suit from CartPartsDepot.com. Want to thank those folks? Again, CartPartsDepot.com. Well over a 1,000 parts available. Again, check them out online, CartPartsDepot.com. As they gave away two racer suits this weekend. Eddie De Niro, our second winner here on a Sunday. Now, Callan Warren in the number 11, checking off a of turn number two right now, 3.8 seconds ahead of Tim Venable. There's Tim now off a of turn number four, heads into turn five. So moving right along in the 11 machine. Alan Warren got a head off of turn eight. He'll work his way into turn number nine. He's picking up that speed again. Turn it fast lap of the 40.093 in lap number eight on rain tire. So he's really moving along well, Cowan Warren. And he'll see two laps to go this time. There's your leader, Cowan Warren. Two to go. Need Yamaha Sports Spin. Yamaha Sports Spin. Need you to the grid. Yamaha Sports Spin. So, white flag up, one more trip around again for Colin Warren going wire to wire. He'll cycle around one more time. Tim Venable running second. Yamaha Sports Spin needs you to the grid. So, Colin Warren will take the win as he cycles around, goes wire to wire. Venable, he scored in that second spot. Third, let me Cody snap. How about that? Lap number 11, he just turned to 39-919. That was in the previous lap, 39-919. So, Colin Warren continued to pick up the pace the entire race. So, he'll pick up the win. Easy card 100. Colin Warren, your winner. So Tag Heavy will come up next. Cody Allen on the pole position. Cody to number 98. Dan Pinkston in the 7-12 starting second. Danny Cloley starting third. Emily Lander fourth. Ken Holland starting fifth. Lewis Satterley sixth. George Metcalf seventh. Angelo Soto will be starting eighth. Jeff Schmidt starting ninth.
Again, Lightning making its way back around the area here at the race complex.
We need Yamaha Sports Bet again. We will have to bypass kid cards. If the track does improve by later on today, we will get them at the end of the day. But, again, the track conditions for kid cards, not going to be able to do it today. So, again, if we have time toward the tail end and the track does dry out, we will put the kids after Yamaha Sports Bet. So those drivers want to hang around. But, again, we'll have to bypass kid cards here for the final. A tag heavy KF2 up next, Yamaha Sportsman. And they will go into Rotex Jr. for your final. They'll be Rotex Jr. for the final. We need Rotex Jr. That'll be Rotex Jr. It needs you to the grid for your final. Again, you will be on rain tires. That'll be Rotex Jr. Field ready to go. Tag heavy. Cody Allen, Dan Pinkston, row number one. Field to work their way down again on rain tires. Looking to go green. No start. No start. And Cody Allen on the pole. Dan Pinkston, row one. Danny Colelli. 
Emily Lander, that'll be row number two. Ken Howland, Lewis Sanderley, row three. Row four, George Metcalf. Angela Soto, Jeff Smith in the number 96. Rotex Jr., your pre-grade for your final. It'll be Rotex Jr. Field will make their way off a of turn 11. They'll head into turn number 12. 12 lap pre final, working on our second to last pre final of the day. They'll come off turn 12, looking to go green as they work their way to the start finish line. Green is out as they come off a of turn number one. Yeah, three card battle, mixing it up as they head into turn two quickly into turn three. So a new race leader right out of the chute, Emily Lander coming from outside of row number four. So Emily will take over the top spot. And she loops it now as she came off a of turn number six. So that'll put Cody Allen back up to the top position. Your pole sitter, Cody Allen. So Cody Allen up front now as he regains that top position. But they were mixing it up when that green flag dropped. They'll cycle around for the first time with Cody Allen up front. There's Cody Allen in a turn number one. Pinkston second, Howland third, Danny Colelli in the fourth spot, Saturday fifth. And Cody Allen up front out of Lehigh Acres running in that second spot is Pinkston. Danny Colelli running third trying to do something with Howland as your leaders make their way into turn seven and eight. Now the 51 got to turn it around. That's Ken Howland loops it by himself. Traffic will avoid him hitting him as he'll get back on course. So Ken Howland going to drop from third all the way to about ninth place. Your leader coming by, Cody Allen in the 98, and heads into turn one. Pinkston about a half a second behind your leader. Kaleli running third, 3.1 seconds behind him. Saturday running fourth, fifth, it'll be Tom Murray Jr. That'll be your KF2 driver. Fifth in the tag heavy, it'll be Metcalf in the number four. Four laps complete. Cody Allen continued to be your leader. Briefly lost it. So Emily Landon at 209. Emily currently in a ninth place position. We'll scoot her up to eighth. Schmidt will drop back to ninth. We'll be closing in at a halfway point, starting on the pole. Cody Allen lost that lead briefly as he went into turn number one. Regained it, coming into turn number six. Right now, Cody Allen up front. And running on those rain tires, will close in on the halfway point. Cody will head into turn number 12. He'll see cross flags when he comes by. Six down, six to go. There's your leader, Cody Allen.
So Cody Allen going to pick up the black flag again due to a bumper. So rear bumper dragging on the 98 of Cody Allen. So that'll put Pinkston now as your leader. That'll be Pinkston will be your leader. Danny Colelli will move up to second, third. It'll be Satterley. So it'll be Pinkston, Colelli, and Satterley now your top three drivers. So Dan Pinkston now inherited the lead. Pinkston turning fast lap 41-167 for Dan Pinkston. Dan Lander going to work around Metcalf. That'll put Lander now four. Excuse me, fifth. Metcalf back to sixth. Now she turns it around again, coming off of turn number eight. Going to collect at least one other driver with him. So Emily turning it around again here at the halfway point. Boy, she got all the way up into that fifth place position. But she'll definitely go backwards one more time. So the loop to loop getting her again, second time in this race. So your leader, uh, Pinkston, will pick up two to go, this time by with a 5.6 second lead over Danny Colelli. Saturday, third. Tom Mulroy, Jr., that'll be your KF2 driver. So right now, Pinkston, well in hand here with the white flag in the air, sending around one more time, Dan Pinkston. So Dan Pinkston will pick up the win. Annie Clelly coming home second, Saturday third. Tom Orley Jr. will be your KF2 winner. But Dan Pinkston picks up the win. The Yamaha Sports Spaniard now on the grid. You're ready to roll. We'll need Rotex Jr. That'll be Rotex Jr. Need you on rain tires. That'll be Rotex Jr. to the grid. We'll need a tag. We'll need tag to the grid. Need Pastor Rick Barnes, the timing and scoring. Pastor Rick Barnes, the timing and scoring.
Reed Rotex Jr. Tag when you get to the grid. That'll be tag. Your pre grab. The Yamaha Sportsmen going to make their way out. Seve DePento in the 14. Simon Sykes in the 22. Evan Cowan in the 4X. Jason Yarbrough in the 24. Justin Gordon in the 8. Tyler Jordan in the 9. Saracino in the 10. Ramirez in the 310. Sapp will be in the 16. Seve DePento setting fast time earlier this morning and qualifying. Turned to 37.978. Final. Last pre-final of the day. Up next will be Rotex Jr. for your final. And also tag will lead you to the grid. Looking them over as they come into turn one. Green is out. Seven to Pento, Simon Sykes, Evan Cowan, Jason Yarbrough, Justin Gordon, Tyler Jordan, and Hunter Sapp. The field will cycle around for lap number one, Seve de Pento. Your early leader as he takes him into turn number seven. There's Seve right now with about a two-car length lead. Running second of the 22 is Simon Sykes. Jason Yarbrough currently running in that fourth place position right where he qualified. Will be able to make their way around for the very first time here. Yamaha Sportsman. So Evan Cowan to the 4X, problems with that card. He comes off the track, Evan Cowan. Eat Rotex Jr. Tag, you're on uh, rain tires. Again, kid carts, we will push you to the end of the day if track conditions do prevail. But again, we will skip kid carts here as we move into our finals. Rotex Jr. Need you on the grid. Tag, you're pre-grid. Seve DePenta holding on to that top position right now with a 1.8 second lead. Seve turning fast time in lap number two as he makes it around for lap number three. Seve now 2.6 second lead. Gordon running third, Samp running fourth, Jordan fifth, Yarborough back to sixth. Four laps in for Seve de Pento. Again, 3.3 second lead over Sykes. Gordon running third. Sam fourth. Fifth will be Arboro. Rotex Jr., you're on the grid for your final. Tag, you're also on the grid to be 13 lap finals.
We'll pick up the halfway sign this time by Seve De Penta. Looking to go wire to wire. Opens up a 4.3 second lead for Seve. Simon Sykes running second. And Simon Sykes. Right behind him, it's Gordon, Sapp, Yarbrough, Jordan. Yeah, that'll be Simon Sykes off the track between turns one and two. Turned it around off the exit of turn one. So Simon Sykes giving away to a good run as it parked the turns one and two. So that'll put Gordon up the second, third. It'll be Hunter Sapp. Eight laps complete. Seve DePento, overall race leader. Gordon now into that second position. Gordon 13.6 seconds behind your leader. Gordon will be third. Fourth will be Yarborough. Fifth will be Jordan. Your top five, Simon Sykes, Evan Cowan, both dropping out. Sykes in lap five. Justin Gore in a good little battle there with him and Hunter Sapp. I'm running second and third. So two to go this time by. Sammy DePanto picking up two laps to go. There's Seve now heading into turn number eight. Gordon running second, Sapp third. We'll see if Hunter Sapp can work around Gordon as they come into turn number seven. Gordon holding him off, and now Gordon goes a little bit wide there. Now he's going to have a little drag race. So look at this wheel-to-wheel -wheel battle for second. Hunter. Along with Gordon, boy, they're going at it. That'll be for second place. Good battle there as Hunter Sam tried it. Hold off Gordon. Their leader will pick up the white flag. They're still going at it now to turn number one. Justin Gordon got to hold them off. Meantime, Seve cycled around for the final time. Gordon got to hold off Sap as they come into turn number five. Now Sap going to try the high side. Meantime, Seve will pick up the win. See, he goes wire to wire. In the meantime, Sapp's going to get around Jordan off the turn number seven. So Seve picks up the win, the battle for second in the turn number ten. Been a good little race there between Jordan. Excuse me, between Gordon and Sapp. And that'll be settled as they come off of turn number 12. Checker flag in hand again. Seve picks up the win. And picking up second will be Sapp. Third, it'll go to Gordon.
Eat Yamaha Jr. You need to make your way to the grid. Yamaha Jr. still on wet. So we'll get ready to go to our finals at this time. We'd like to step aside and welcome in Pastor Rick Barnes. And we ask everybody, please rise as we welcome in Pastor for our invocation. And we ask you, gentlemen, please remove your caps. Again, Pastor Rick Barnes. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we greatly appreciate you coming out here for our race complex uh, race. Uh, I do uh, want to uh, start this off with a sad note. Uh, we did lose some of our Navy SEAL team yesterday. They were, they were sadly shot down. So I'm going to call for a moment of silence in honor of those brave men that uh, so willingly, well, they gave their ultimate sacrifice. So in that time, a moment of silence. Do uh, pray for their families. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the courage that you instilled in the brave military. Not only them, but all first responders. Lord, our firefighters, our sheriff, all these brave men and women, Lord, to do the right thing and to protect us. We are so grateful that they are so willing to, to put their lives on the line for our protection. Father, I do pray for this racetrack that it'll be a success and it'll be much joy and a blessing to all that attend. Lord, I thank you again for our sponsors. And Father, I thank you so much just to see the family here. When I came up yesterday and the encouragement that I received from them, it was such a blessing. But the family spirit, seeing moms and dads and their children enjoy one another, I thank you because love is all and completely from you. Father, we just lift your name up high, and again, I ask blessings and safety for our, our corner workers and all that are here today and for Travel Mercy's home, and I pray this in the loving and precious name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, remain standing for the greatest song, for the greatest nation, and positively and absolutely the greatest sport there is, and that is racing. Again, may God richly bless each and every one of you and have a wonderful day. Thanks for coming. So, again, special thanks to Pastor Rick Barnes for making it out here this weekend. And, of course, keep Pastor in your prayers throughout the week. So, we'll get set to go racing. So, one more time, Rotex Jr., you're up first. Tag, you are pre-grid. 
Again, these races will be 13 laps. Again, 13 laps for finals. Again, Rotex Jr. will make it their way out. They will be on rain tires. Next group up will be Tag. You will be on dry tires. Again, you'll be on dry tires for Tag. And we'll give you that 10-minute window plus this race. So, again, you'll have this race plus 10 minutes to get on dry tires. That'll be Tag. And remaining classes will be on dry tires. So, again, Tag drivers, you'll be on dry tires. Again, we'll give you this race plus 10 minutes. So you go ahead to dry tires. But again, Rotex Jr., you're on wets. Tag, you'll be on dry along with Yamaha Jr. and the remaining classes. So again, we'll give tag drivers this race an additional 10 minutes. So Rotex Jr. going to make it out, 13-lap final. Morgan Ely on the pole, Colin Warren outside row one. Brian Lockwood, Tim Venable, row number two. Scheduled out in the 23, Mason Carroll. Robbie Napier in the 101, Orson Morales in the seven. Sarah Metcalf in the number 12, Sasha Van Riebel in the 21. Rotex Jr. again, 13 laps. All finals have been dropped down to 13 laps. Tag drivers, again, you'll be on dry tires. Again, you'll have this race plus 10 minutes. You get on the dry tires, following all those other classes, will be on at dry tires. Field coming off turn number 12. They'll slow down to that start-finish line. Morgan Healy, Callan Warren. 
Green is out. We're underway as they get into turn number one. Good little battle. Morgan with a slight advantage. They'll head into turn number three. And she'll check off a turn number four as your leader. And attention to those tag drivers. We are getting rain one more time. So, again, uh, that big's requesting to hold off. Again, on the tire switch, we are getting more rain. Again, we'll glad to let you know here as soon as we get the word to you, but to hang out with the tag drivers. We're working on our first final of the day, Morgan Healy, in your Rotex Jr. right now, lap number one leader. Cowan Warren stayed right there. Those two drivers starting to break away. And you got that second pack of cards, Tim Venable. Going to lead that second pack into turn number five. So Morgan Healy, early leader. And Morgan Healy turning fast lap, 39.850, so quick lap for Morgan Healy. Morgan got to work off of turn number eight, heads into turn nine. That's second pack of carts. But Tim Venable going to lead those drivers into turn number eight. And Tim Venable right now 5.3 seconds behind your leaders. of Callan Warren and Morgan Healy as they come across the line. There's Morgan across the line. Callan Warren still about two-tenths of a second behind Morgan. Buttons it up on the entry to turn number two. Then they'll... Continue to go that way off turn three. Opens up about a full cart length, maybe two cart lengths now for Morgan Healy into turn six. Morgan turning fast time. Well, 39.850, of course, on rain tires. See that back end of her cart. Little flipping around there, coming off a of turn eight. A little fishtail there. And your attention in your tag class, again, we will give you time either way to change tires or not. So we'll give you time. So Glenn Biggs requesting to hang in there, but we will give you plenty of time. Morgan Healy opened up a little bit of a gap now. She's up to about six tenths of a second. So Morgan right now, lap number four, six tenths of a second lead. Morgan continue to hold on to that top position coming off of turn number eight. And Lockwood running third, about uh, 10 seconds behind your lead. O'Brien Weeble going to drop back to fourth. Fifth will be Venable. Metcalf sixth, seventh, and eighth for seventh. It'll be Orson Morales. Actually, Orson running eighth. So we'll pick up that halfway point. Six down, six to go. Morgan Healy so far wire to wire. Right now, just two tenths of a second behind. Her is Cowan Warren. So Cowan here at the halfway point on that previous lap was seven tenths of a second behind your leader. And right now he's on the heels of your race leader coming into turn number eight. Now he's going to look to the inside, going to challenge. And he peeks to the inside, took a shot at Milt Morgan here in lap number six. So Callan Warren will take over that top spot here in lap number seven. So Callan Warren finally getting around Morgan Healy in here in lap number seven.
Alan Warren moving right along. Continue to hold about a six-tenths of a second lead as he opens it up over Morgan Healy. Healy leading the first six laps, giving way to Cowan Warren. Cowan right now with a 39-299, just did it here in lap number eight. So Cowan Warren setting fast time. Morgan Healy now nine-tenths of a second behind your race leader here with nine laps complete. Callan Warren up front. Morgan Healy, those drivers into turn number three. Brian Lockwood with his hands full. Sasha Brown Weebo coming all the way from the tail end of the field. As he'll come down the front stretch. And Lockwood holding her off. Great battle there, boy. Sasha staying right there about a cut leap behind your leader. So good racing between those two drivers. Sasha Brown Weebo and Brian Lockwood. Lockwood a little bit of breathing room now coming into turn number six. Opens up a good three-car length lead coming into turn number eight. Like it on your final two laps to go. So Colin Warren up front with a 1.4 second lead. And Colin Warren, 1.4 second lead here in lap number 11. So white flag will drop as they work their way around for the final time. Alan Warren again turning to 39-125 in lap number 11. Alan Warren cycling around looking to pick up the win. Again, Sasha Brown Weevil still about three cart lengths behind. Brian Lockwood, that battle been going on for the last four or five laps. Lockwood right now holding on to third, trying to get himself a podium. Checker flag got a drop. Colin Warren will pick up the win. Morgan Healy, great run for Morgan Healy coming home second. Sasha Brown Weevil going to try to button it up now as they come into that final turn. And Alexa off a of turn number 12. Lockwood with the slight advantage as they come down the front stretch. And Lockwood will pick up third. Brian Weebo fourth. Metcalf fifth.
So again, it'll be your tank class. You will be on wet tires. You'll have till 310. They get you have 10 minutes. So they get wet tires for tank drivers. You'll be on wet tires. Again, drivers have about uh, nine minutes to get those tires on. It'll be tag about nine minutes.
All right, big announcement right now. I need all tag drivers. That's all tag drivers to meet Glenn Biggs on the grid immediately, please. All tag drivers, please meet Glenn Biggs on the grid immediately, please. All tag drivers to the grid to meet Glenn Biggs. Your time has been paused, so we're going to be on hold for just a minute. So if we go to whatever rain tire, whatever tire we go to, you will have plenty of time to change to it. So all tag drivers, please see Glenn Biggs on the grid. Once again, we need all tag drivers, all tag drivers to meet Glenn Biggs on the grid, please, immediately. All tag drivers, come see Glenn Biggs on the grid. So again, then we will go with tag again with rain tires. Again, to be rain tires. Again, drivers voting to go rain tires. So about eight minutes, we'll get set to go. Eight minutes. So that'll be give us 315. We'll go green. Tag drivers on rain tires.
And those tag drivers have about eight minutes. We'll get set to go. You have eight minutes on rain tires. You're going to be on rain tires. Eight minutes. We'll get you ready to roll. Yeah, notice your tag drivers have five minutes, five minutes remaining, five minutes to be on wet tires for your 13-lap final. Wet tires for tag.
Again, three minutes remaining. Again, they have three minutes for our tag drivers for rain tires. So ready to go, your tag class, Nick Neary. And there your fast qualifier this morning. Picked up the pre-final as Neary went wire to wire in that pre-final. He'll be on that pole position. Nick Neary on the pole. Outside row one, Andrew Evans. Row two, Chase Wilsey, Brandon Salier. In row number three, Jonathan Kuttick will be in at 32. Armando Aarons will be starting six. Brad Sanders, seventh. Jeff Davis, eighth. Tal Murray, Jr., again, will be starting ninth. Prince Auburn Rebel starting tenth. Nathaniel DeWitt, eleventh. Jesse Gross, twelfth. Dominic Lamana, thirteenth. Joffrey Amaya, fourteenth. Aubrey Duncan starting fifteenth. L.B. Skaggs, sixteenth. Ricky Nicholson starting seventeenth. Doug Moff, eighteenth. Nick Rickard starting 19th, Jason Devine 20th, Glenn Fitcher starting 21st, Brian Horwood scheduled 22nd, Chris, uh, Chris Greptor 23rd, Garrett Peterson 24th, Spring did not start in the pre-final along with Mike Andrews Jr. Aubrey Duncan in the 18, not going to make the start. And it looks like problems with Nathaniel DeWitt in that 66. Grand 13 lap final of the day. Again, it'll be your 13 lap final tag mm -hmm. class. Good looking field of tag drivers. We'll not take a start. We'll send them around one more time. And special thanks to folks at CartPartsDepot.com. And again, giving away a couple of racer suits this weekend. Check them out online. CartPartsDepot.com. I want to thank Roken Racing 239-770-4476. Also, folks at Harvest Motorsports. RiserRacing.com, 305-687-8711, RiserRacing.com. I want to thank the folks at uh, Vortex-Engines.com. Check them out online and see all their products. Again, Vortex Engines. Also, DPISuperstore.com. Check them out online, DPISuperstore.com. So looking to go 13 laps, your tag. Your tag class, 13 laps. Nick Neary on the pole. Andrew Evans outside of row number one. They're ready to hit the throttle. No start. No start. Glenn going to wave that yellow flag. No start. To be able to do it one more time. And special thanks to the folks at SpeedComRacing.com. Racing your radio systems, receiver, race scanners. All kinds of neat items there. Speed 
CalDevelopmentCalDevelopmentCalDevelopmentCalDevelopmentCalDevelopmentCalDevelopmentCalDevelopmentCalDevelopmentCalDevelopmentCalDevelopmentCalDevelopmentCalDevelopmentCalDev
Off, Andrew Evans, Ricky Nicholson all doing battle. They come into turn number 11. So Nary across the line, 1.1 second lead for Nary. Pretty much holding on to that top position. Yeah, and dry tires, Yamaha Jr., next class, dry tires. Near your leader now down to about eight tenths of a second. So Jonathan Cotite here with lap ten in the books. Jonathan trying to close it in. So two laps to go this time by working on your final two laps to go. Doug Moff turning fast lap in lap number 10, 36, 9, 8, 4. He is charging. Doug Moff now sixth. Brandon Sellier, Kotai going to do some battle there. He got a good little race for second. But up front, Nick Nary cycling around. And Nick will see the white flag as he comes down to the start finish line. Nick Nary, final trip around. Boy, Jonathan Cotite making a late run at your leader. Six tenths of a second now. Final lap, about six tenths of a second. So Nick Neri looking for a perfect afternoon as he goes wire to wire in the Pre-final again, had fast time. And he'll come off a of turn number 12. Nary will seal the deal. So Nary picks up the win as he crosses the line by three-tenths of a second. So Kote trying to bring him in. And it's only will pick up third, fourth to the Maw, fifth to the will see. So what?
So all eight drivers are going to make the field. Here's how we'll line them up. Yamaha Jr. Points leader, Skyler Robinson out of Augusta, Georgia on the pole position. Corey Tolls out of Jacksonville in that second spot. Starting third, Ian Tilber, fourth, Derek Solwell. Fifth, it'll be Austin Jordan. Sixth, it'll be Chris Maxson. Eddie Rodriguez starting seventh. Justin Cryer going to start in the eighth spot. Skyler Robinson starting this week in Azure points leader. Got a pair of wins. Corey Toll sitting second. How about Corey Toll's five straight third place finishes of the season? Green is out as he'll head into turn number one. Some good side by side racing mid pack. That's rows three and four side by side. Now they'll shuffle him down. Robinson going to bring him off a of turn four. He's your leader. Single file into turn number five. And Corey Toll's finishing second in that pre final. And Corey looks in. Pretty good, of course. Now on dry tires. So Yamaha Jr. Need Cadet Sportsman to the grid. Cadet Sportsman, all shifters, all shifters to the grid. So he'll get into the cycle around. Skyler Robinson up front. And Corey Toll is going to do some racing now with Ian Tilber. How about that? Two drivers battling for that second spot. And it will be Ian Tilber now going to take it over. So Ian Tilber moves up in the second, gets around Corey Tolls. So battle for second early on. Again, Corey Toes, Ian Tilber. Tilber right now, lap number two, running in that second spot. Skyler Robinson, fast time, 36, 8, 6, 2. There's Skyler in the turn number one. Boy, Corey Toes staying right in the tire tracks. So that second place running, Ian Tilber. Tilber looking for his first win. Likewise is Corey Toes. Right now, they're going to do battle for that second spot. Neither of those drivers worried about a win. Derek Sobel on the move now moves up to fourth. So good nose to tail battle for that second spot. Ian Tilber early on jumped up to that second position in lap number two. Corey Toll sitting third right now here in lap four. Still nose to tail. Running second, Corey Tolles, Ian Tilber, Derek Sobo flying solo by himself, then behind him, a lot of traffic behind Derek. Austin Jordan, Eddie Rodriguez, Justin Kreiner, Maxson, they got a good race going on the tail end of that field. And Jordan, Rodriguez, and Justin Kreiner all doing battle as they head into turn number 10. And that race was for that, the fifth place position. So five laps complete again, your one and only leader. Skyler Roberts with a race behind him, but Corey Tolles now going to move back into second. So lap five, Corey Tolles moves into second. Well, lap five, Corey Tolles getting around. Ian Tilbers, they flip-flop back for that second position. Those two drivers trying to lock up a podium finish. Look at Skyler Robinson by lap five. He's already got a 1.7 second lead. He'll cross the line. 1.6 second lead here in lap number six. And Corey told a fast lap here in lap six, 35.997. So good lap for Corey Tolles. 
And Skyler continued to check out 1.5 second lead here in lap seven. Again, very consistent lap after lap. 1.6 second lead in lap six, down about a 1.5. So continue to stay pretty consistent lap after lap. And Corey Tolls holding on to second. Him and uh, Ian Tilbert continue to go nose to tail. They do in battle for that uh, second and third place position on the podium. And Jordan, Justin Kreiner and Rodriguez, fifth, sixth, and seventh coming into turn 10. Good racing with these three drivers. They'll work off of turn 10. There's Skyler Robinson. Yeah, it looks like Corey Tolls and Ian Tilbert starting to reel in your leader now 1.2 seconds behind him. So they're starting to work together. So shaving a little bit of that time off. So lap number eight, they're just about 1.2 seconds behind your leader. So 1.2 in lap number eight. Okay, we'll see if Corey Tolls and Ian Tilbert can stick together, try to do something with Skyler Robinson. There's Skyler in the turn number one. Corey trying to run him down. One second gap now. So one second here, lap number eight, one second separating first and second. So lap number nine, one second lead for Skyler. And Corey Tolls running yesterday on them rain tires, picked up the feature event right now on dry tires, trying to run down your leader, Skyler Robinson. Again, Corey, five straight third place finishes here in your Yamaha Junior class. Like to wrap it up with a win over Skyler Robinson right now, nine tenths of a second. So he shaved off another tenth of a second. So they're coming in until, until we're now going to start to fade back. Ian, about 1.9 seconds behind your leader. He's a full second behind Tolls. So in lap number 10. Ian Tilber starting to fade back. Now it's Corey Tolls all by himself. We'll see if he can do anything with your race leader. So 11 laps complete, two to go. Skyler Robinson now opens up a 2.7 second lead. Something's gone wrong with Corey Tolls. He was a second behind your leader. Now he drops to third. So here in lap 11, Corey Tolls drops to third. Ian Tilbert second. So any chance of bringing in Skyler Robinson? It looks like it's gone by the wayside. As Corey Tolls now closes back up on Ian Tilber. So get a little flip-flop back and forth between those two drivers. They did get into a full second behind your leader, and that's as close as they got. As the white flag will hang out for Skyler Robinson. Apparently, maybe some contact between a Sky, uh, between uh, Ian Tilbert and Corey Tolls. They were Tolls was a second behind your leader. Ian Tilbert had been 1.9 seconds behind your leader. Right now, Ian ahead of uh, Corey Tolls for that uh, final two spots on the podium. So Skyler Robinson going wire to wire. So how about that, Skyler Robinson, a couple earlier threats. Let's all settle down. It looks like Skyler Robinson will see the checker flag. He will cross the line and picks up the win. So Skyler Robinson goes wire to wire, third win of the season into Yamaha Jr. Coming home second, Ian Tilber, 4.2 seconds behind your leader. Corey Tolls comes home third.
So rolling up next is the cadet sportsman, Seve De Pinto on the pole position. Justin Gordon outside row one. Villa Varner row two along with Simon Sykes. Aiden Keel, Mayo Livingston, row three. Devin Butel, Saraceno, row four. Hunter Sapp in row five with Ramirez who stepped out. So Ramirez will drop out. That'll put Padilla in the 11th spot. Glenn going to show him green. We're underway. 13 laps. They come into turn number two. Several cards going to get the gap.
So again, we'll get ready to go. A little bit of power problem here in the tower. So we'll get set here in just a minute.
So we'll have our drivers get ready to roll. Again, Cadet Sportsman, it'll be a complete restart. We'll get them fired up, get ready to go. Complete restart. Shifters, you're up next. Shifters, you're at dry tires. You're up next. Easy Cart 100, you'll be pre-grid. Easy Cart 100, you are pre-grid. So, Seve DePinto on that pole position. Justin Gordon outside row number one. Row two, Philip Varner. And a Simon Sykes. Row three, Aiden Keel, Mayo Livingston. Row four, Devin Buteau, Saracino starting eighth. Hunter Sapp ninth. Ramirez dropped out. He will sit out on this one. Hunter Padilla will be 10th. 11th, it'll be Marsh. 
12th, it'll be Jacob Howard. 13th, it'll be Henderson. 14th, and Arrow. Yeah, continue on with your lineup. Starting 17th, it'll be Perkins. Casey Forhey starting 18th. 19th, it'll be Garrison. Skaggs will be starting 20th. 21st will be Yarborough and Jordan. We're ready to go racing. Green is on as they head into turn number one. Complete restart. Little shuffling going on for that second place position. Seve de Pinto going to work his way into turn number five. Turn, Seve making his way to turn number one. Right now, just turn fast slap of the 38 306. Second, third, and fourth, pretty well knows the tail. That'll be Gordon Sykes and Varner. So, lap number two, Gordon Sykes, Varner continue to go nose to tail. That'll be that race for that uh, final two positions on the podium. And Justin Gorn staying in that second place position. Justin, good qualifier this morning. He's got Sykes right behind him. Philip Varner running fourth, fifth, it'll be Livingston. Saraceno running sixth, Aiden Kiel seventh, Buteau eighth, Ramirez, and Hunter Sapp ninth and tenth. And working on your cadet sportsman, 13 lap final. Seve de Pinto starting today eighth in the point standings. Look at his first feature win. Best finish this year in race number four at Monticello. Got a second place run. And the field going to work around the 77. Casey Forge in the 77. Traffic works around. Seve gets around him. Forge, the rest of that freight train going to come by. And Forge going to wash up a little bit high. And everybody going to clear Forge as their leader. Works into turn number 11. So all the racing behind your leader with Austin Garrison now turning fast time, 37-6-9-0. Yeah, Justin Gordon, Simon Sykes. Good racing behind him. Five cars again behind Jordan. I should be behind Gordon. So it'll be Gordon, Sykes, Barner, Livingston, and Saraceno. Second through sixth. So red flag going to come out. So red flag out. So yes, 
So again, that'll be turn 12. Again, we'll get the medics over there check it out. So under red flag condition here. So under red flag.
Yeah, we're looking for a volunteer to help us out with a generator here for timing and scoring. A 220 generator. If somebody happened to want to break away with it, again, we'll need one here in timing and scoring. So, again, two drivers, Dylan Gennaro, also Tyler Jordan involved in that. We'll keep an eye on him. All righty, we have found a generator to use, but we do need a couple of gallons of gas. If we can get somebody to uh, donate a couple gallons of regular unleaded down here for the generator, it would be greatly appreciated.